guys. Halloween's over. We're in the heart of fall. The leaves are falling. It's chilly out. And we got lots of mysteries afoot. I've got tons of backlog tapes. But I found this one the other day. Nothing on it. Completely blank. Nothing on the inside. No label. But it does have the word exam on the top. That's it. It's just a Polaroid videotape that says exam. Something weird always happens when I'm finding these tapes. So I'm in Goodwill, and this particular Goodwill where the VHS are, it's in the book section. It doesn't have like its own section, so there's always people in the way. So and it's really tight, like the aisle to like look at the VHS is like one person wide. So I'm in there, I'm like, there's like this Mennonite lady with her child, like a little kid, and they're looking at books, and I'm trying to like get past them to like get into the VHS, because I'm weird, I look at VHS tapes. And so I get to the VHS and I'm like crouched down like this, like a little ball, because the VHS are down on the bottom row. So I'm like in here searching, just minding my own business, looking at the VHS tapes. Oh look, a mystery VHS tape, cool. So I'm looking at it, unbeknownst to me, this Mennonite lady is facing the other way from me and she's saying something to her child like, oh, no more books. Oh, and then the kid drops a book and this Mennonite lady with this gigantic butt just and she just sits on me. Like literally this massive butt just like lands on my back and squashes me and I'm like, oh, and I'm, she's like, oh, sorry. And I'm like, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm just looking for my Mr. VHS tapes. Don't sit on me. So yeah, this big lady sat on me while I'm trying to find this tape. So I went through peril. I went through getting squashed by a big butt to get this tape for you. So it better be good. <laughs> so we're going to go take care of some business, enjoy the fall, and then we're going to watch this tape. singer Beverly Sills exactly a hundred years ago this place has become so famous in those hundred years you can write from anywhere in the world and just say Carnegie Hall or even Carnegie and people get it do you know Peter whenever I come to Carnegie Hall they have a little fanfare like that I've just never arrived without that and the first time I came here was 52 years ago when Lily Pons was singing and I was 10 years old not at all what I was expecting what does this have to do with an exam they're at Carnegie Hall for some kind of would be intertwined with the history of I don't know, concert? Do you like her dress? I love it. <laughs> it's, like, it's like she's the Grinch that's so crisp. Oh my gosh. Protégé of a great aunt's patron there. He was called the Ding Dong Daddy of Cincinnati. Wait, there, is that him? There he is, Ding Dong Daddy of Cincinnati. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Ding-dong, Daddy. <laughs> I should have busted out my bow tie for this video. I didn't realize Seriously? we were getting classy as butt. Lurking. No one's ever ready for Ding Dong Daddy! Daddy! Oh, there he is. Look at those glasses. Oh my gosh. This is 1991. Hey. What are you doing? You know why they call him the Ding Dong Daddy of Cincinnati, right? 
He likes to ring doorbells. Do something in your eye. <coughs> He's like, oh yeah, that was the best ding dong I've ever done. Ding dong, daddy, you did it again. <laughs> Back at it again with those ding dongs. <laughs> it ain't quite like Cincinnati, but it'll do. I've never seen people as tired and with such sparkle in their eyes as the people working on this project. Uh, actually, my wife is giving me a lot of trouble too because she says, I've never seen you working seven days a week, seven up. I thought you get home and you eat something, you take a shower, you're ready to go back to work. <laughs> the woman Gerald is absolutely beautiful. Painters, the, the color, the decorators, everybody. They did a wonderful job. That is world. As well, I like the arts and everything, so that's, I'd like to be in there instead of out here. Hey, come on, hey, hey, I'd rather be in there than working out here like a bum. Hey, I'm gonna go home, get a drink of beer, I love the arts. Oh, it's like New York guys in like the fanciest place ever. It's so goofy. Did that guy even work there? <laughs> I think he was just hanging out. Hope, hey, I'd like to get in there, you know. Maybe they'll let me in if I just look like I'm working on the place. Hey, come on. Hey, forget about it. Hey. My wife's angry that I'm working seven days a week. That guy's not working seven days a week. He's out doing other stuff telling his wife that he's working on Carnegie Hall. I'm sorry, honey. I gotta go work on Carnegie Hall. I won't be home tonight. No wonder he had that sparkle in his eye. <laughs> That's why he's got the sparkle in his eye. Fooling around with the uh, Ding Dong Daddy of Cincinnati, if you know what I'm saying. Oh my word. <laughs> uh, you didn't hear it from me. Still there. Ladies, gentlemen, construction workers working seven days a week, thank you, thank you. Now to close out the evening, it is my pleasure to present a mystery VHS first, Mr. Ding Dong Daddy himself. Thank you, have a good night. <laughs> <laughs>